Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. Today's video has a bunch of cleaning motivation along with some deep cleaning motivation as well. We're taking care of some stuff on the outside of the house and we're also taking care of some really big deep cleaning projects in my kitchen. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, would you stay till the morning light? Oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. So the first thing that I got started in was in the, the laundry room. I wanted to get some of our extras put away like the Tide Pods and the laundry detergent and the Dawn Power Wash and stuff like that. I keep all of my spares and all of my extra cleaning supplies out in the laundry room up on that shelf. Um, another thing that I wanted to take care of in here was I every once a month... I will go ahead and clean my washer by hand. I have an older washer, so I can't just put it on a clean cycle and it do the job properly. There's stuff at the top that just doesn't get cleaned. There's dust from outside, especially when we mow and things like that. So I needed to get the washing machine and the dryer dusted off and cleaned. And before I did the bleach cycle in it, I wanted to get some of the blankets um, caught up. I hadn't washed blankets in a little bit, so I needed to get those caught up. And um, so I did all of that before I did the bleach cycle. That was done afterwards. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find, I'm standing right here. Joe started on the pool and the hangout area while I was still in the laundry room. But once I was finished in the laundry room, I went ahead and started helping him out. He wanted to get the pool done and go ahead and start draining it. The kids were at their grandparents' house over the weekend, so the pool didn't get used for probably about three or four days. 
so it started to get a little dirty and stuff on the bottom so we wanted to break all of that up and get it out of the pool and refresh it with some fresh water so we started with cleaning the walls and then he started to drain it and after that we started cleaning up around the pool So yeah, while the pool was dr uh, draining, we went ahead and started getting a few of the things that we had put on the porch. Um, the things that end up on the porch are usually stuff that we're going to put into a shed or something like that, but we can't get to it at that moment. It just has to get out of the house. So we'll put it on the porch. So we went ahead and got all of that stuff put where it belongs and we got it all cleaned up. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? You'll see me do this a couple times in this video. I'm actually taking my clothes over to the clothesline that we put up a few years ago when my dryer broke down before we got a new one. I love using this thing. And there's nothing that smells better than clothes that are dried on a clothesline. And during the summer, it's the best thing ever and it's very efficient. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feel it We started filling up the pool right before I had to leave to go pick up the kids from school. Joe did end up putting in some um, liquid chlorine in order to shock the pool to keep it from turning green in the next couple days. And we did buy a little um, floaty thing that you could put the um, chlorine in to float around the pool and disperse chemicals evenly. Because we don't have a filter on this uh, or a pump or anything like that on this pool, we want to be able to keep the chemicals um, circulated properly. So we ended up buying a little tiny one that works perfectly for this pool. Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving 
This here is the little alleyway that is between the house and the laundry room. This um, alleyway, we had a few things in it from when we cleaned out the laundry shed um, a little while ago. And we completely actually forgot that everything was out there and we just, we didn't get around to doing it. So while we were outside cleaning up the pool and the hangout area, we decided, you know what, now's the time. We need to get it done before we completely forget and just keep pushing it off. Might as well do it now while we're out here. So we went ahead and went through everything to find out what was uh, garbage and what was going to be saved. And we found proper homes for everything out here. The bikes did end up staying and I was not able to film the um, flower bed that's over on the other side because my phone ended up overheating when it was recording because we were outside. So I did not get that footage. But we did an awesome job and I love the way it turned out. And in next week's video, we're going to be pressure washing all of this. So stay tuned for that one. Can we stay here forever? Stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here?
lot going on in this kitchen this time. Usually I'll just do the quick once over on everything. I'll wipe down counters, I'll do the dishes, I'll clean my stove. Um, occasionally I'll get to my fridge on camera. I usually get to the fridge every week when we do grocery shopping, but I don't film it as much. But this time I wanted to bring all of my appliances off of the counters, off of the tables, and get everything dusted and washed and just get everything cleaned. I wanted to wash the walls and the counters and the appliances. I do have quite a bit of before and afters of all of my appliances. I have a lot and I'm going to list every single one of them in the description. Some of them are gifts, some of them I got on Amazon, some of them I got at other places, but I'm gonna list everything in the description below. So if there's anything that you like or you would want something similar to it, just let me know and um, I'll let you know if it's in the description or if it was something that was gifted to me and I will find out where that person got it for, from. I wish you would be right here with me I'm thinking of you Some of my appliances get used on a regular basis and some of them do not. Like for instance, my coffee pot gets used every single day. So it does tend to get cleaned more often. But in this example that you're going to see, it is pretty bad because I hadn't got to it in about a week and a half. I, that was about the last time that I cleaned it. And then you'll also see there's other appliances like my uh, hot dog steamer. That one doesn't get used as much. So some of them will have more dust on them than others because they do get used and some of them do not. But I wanted to make sure that every single appliance was dusted and cleaned just so that I knew it was all done. But I thought it through.
used to be yeah. But I just feel like dancing Are you feeling the groove? table has saved me in so many instances instances I can't even tell you my old oven that was on the wall before we uh, redid the kitchen it, it went out on me I want to say about four years ago so I've gone a long time without an oven and Joe bought me this little convic convection oven can't talk today but uh, he bought me this convection oven, uh, I want to say two years ago, and it was right before Thanksgiving, and I cooked an entire Thanksgiving meal in that. I mean, obviously, I had to, you know, one at a time, but it cooked my turkey, it cooked all of my sides, it, it saved me. And now that I have my big oven, 
I still use my little oven as much as I can because it gets hot in my house when I use my big oven because it's such a small house and I have a gas powered oven so it produces a ton of heat so when I get to I use this little oven and I absolutely love it <music> So like our usual last minute decisions, we decided to change up the kitchen a little bit and try to declutter it a little bit. I did not like always having to chop all of my vegetables and everything that I cook with over in the corner. So we wanted to move the table over pretty much to the middle of where the kitchen would be. So that's what we ended up doing it was not planned it was one of those things where we were cleaning everything and we were like you know what what if we did this and so that's exactly what we did i saw you from across the room when our eyes met i never knew could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name
once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own by the time I got to the stove, we were only able to take the door off and get it sprayed down with the easy off. If you noticed, all of my windows in the kitchen are open because we are using the easy off and it, it has such a strong, powerful smell and it's very chemically. So we wanted to keep a uh, very open and fresh air everywhere. So we opened the windows in the kitchen as well as the doors and the windows and the rest of the house just to keep some fresh air going. But when I sprayed it, I had to leave to go get the kids from school. So they ended up, or the um, Easy Off ended up staying on the oven for probably about an hour and then when I got home I was able to just spray it down and re-wipe it with um, my Mrs. Myers and then get everything put back together clean the top of the stove and finally get my floors done this kitchen project literally took us all day long and that's because we just wanted to get everything as clean as possible and just get it done right the first time Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that it motivated you to get some deep cleaning done in your kitchen. I am so happy with the amount of stuff that we were able to get accomplished this week between outside and all of the deep cleaning in the kitchen. My kitchen smells better. It feels better. It's more organized, it's less cluttered, and I'm just loving it right now. Drop a uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you like the little subtle changes that we made? And also, tell me, is there anything that you want to see me do? Any kind of cleaning that you want to see me do? Just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get it done for you. But until then, until next time, <laughs> thank you all for watching. There's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life I'm Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights